Hey, hi guys, welcome to VMworld 2016. We are at the V Brown Bag booth and we are talking about operationalizing your world. I have Ivan with me. Ivan, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, it's always a pleasure to be here so with V Brown Bag. We've taken a lot from you guys, so it's always good to give back a little bit, right? And this is our contact, so keep in touch. You'll find us on the blog, Twitter, etc. Yep. So I blog on VExpress and Ewan does it on Virtual Red Dot, which is uh, Singapore, the red dot on the world. Yeah, let's take it away, let's go. Yep. So how it started, how we got into operations is, we, I've been with VMware for about eight plus years and typically customers call me up, you know, Ewan, we've got a performance problem, can you help us? So this story is very common, it's how we, we started, right? Yep, so usually when your, customers, when your customers call you, they talk about, I have performance issues. Uh, my VM is not performing well, yeah. or my applications are not doing well. So what and do you do, right? What do you do? What do you tell them? And this is a typical answer, like we check the ESXi utilization, right? And uh, well, you may also do things, you know, buy her lunch or whatever, right? And or call your TAM or MCS or roll up your sleeve. Yep. It's a funny answer, but you kind of know it's a serious stuff. There, there, it, there is a level of difficulty in that, uh, there is a level of issue inside that, right? So what we want to say, so we have developed a set of material that you can download it at, at our blog that helps you answer that. Then basically, if you are already operating as a service provider, as opposed to a system builder, your help desk should be able to answer that questions within 60 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you've got to give great, great performance. There's so, another one. Go on. Yeah, so what's wrong with these statements? All the technical people out here, you, you've read those statements before, right? You talk about everywhere over here, you don't talk about performance. Yeah. All you talk about is utilization, whether it's at the cluster CPU level, whether it's at the RAM level, at all levels you talk about utilization, which is not performance. So all these things are actually good. They're, they're not, nothing wrong on, on their own. Right, but they don't tell about how the VMs are served. You know, let's say you've got 10,000 VMs in your environment that you are serving. It doesn't tell about, you know, how are they served. Then the next one is what's wrong with these requirements? Yeah, a bunch of them. So if you go to a customer, they want a single pane of glass, they want end-to-end -end visibility. Right. However, in all these conversations, what doesn't come up is how do you measure performance? Yeah. How so, do you say, yeah. how fast you are when you are delivering infrastructure as a service to your customers. So at the end of the day, right, if, 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 if we drill into the requirements, right, the reason why customers ask us for these requirements, now let's take a look at it. You serve application. The VMs are running on your environment. Your, IA, your IAS consists of storage, network, servers. If you drill down, it consists of these things. It's pretty complex, right? And what you want actually is you want four, all these four things. Yep. Now, even we can give it to you, we can correlate how, let's say, NSX with FSAN with etc. It again doesn't tell about how the VMs are being served. Yes. Right. So so far you talk about the infrastructure layer, where the CIOs are not interested in that. They are interested in their applications. They are interested in how the VMs are working. They're not interested in how fast your ESX or how fast your storage exactly. is. Exactly. So this is the common ask from the CIO, right? Uh, proof that the IAS that you architect, that you operate, that I pay you money to, to look after it, are being served well. That is my requirements, right, as a CIO. And I want it to be every single VM, not all except this. And since you are doing IAS, infrastructure consists of CPU, memory, disk, network, and it's got to be done every five minutes. The cadence has to be there. You can't take an average every hour. You can't take a snapshot yep. every hour. It's got to be every five minutes. Yep. So you basically want to know what's happening across your data center on all your VMs, across these four different layers for configuration, availability, et cetera, et cetera, for every five minutes. It's, it sounds like a logical requirement, but if you drill down into it, Let's say you got a thousand VMs, Sonny, mm -hmm. and I know your customers have a lot more than that. Yep. All right, a thousand VMs times four things, which is CPU, memory, disk, network, times uh, every five minutes. So there is 12 data points yes. in an hour, 288 in a day, and in a month you have about 8,600. 
Well, that's a big number right there, right? So that's what you got to do if you have 1,000 VMs. If you have 1,000 VMs, your customers have a lot more than that. I have one who's 10,000. Yeah, so 10,000, you end up with 350 million data points that you got to pass every month, month after month, right? So how do you do that? So that is essentially, it's, uh, how, much, how, how many minutes do we have? Because we're concerned about the time. <laughs> no, so all we're trying to say is, it's difficult. The problem which you saw on the previous page, it's not easy to solve. However, we have cracked the code. We have the code to it in terms of how you can look at all that data points, not only for 10,000 VMs, but we have operationalized it together yeah. for customers yes. with many more VMs than that, yeah. multiple sites. Yeah. And we use VRealize Operations Manager for that. However, we look at some of the basic concepts of VR ops where we pick up metrics, which turns into performance SLA, and then we measure yeah. that performance SLA using 40 different dashboards across configuration, availability, the performance, and capacity. Yep. So we talked earlier it's about giving back. So what we have done is uh, it's actually a one-day workshops that we have done. So you can take it uh, from our blocks. So there's a set of 40 dashboards. You can go and import it and the materials are available in PowerPoint, take what's relevant to you, throw away what's not relevant, and make it yours. Yeah, so if you go back in this recording, you will get the links to our blogs, where you will get everything what you need to operationalize your world. Thank with, you, Ivan. With that, thank you very much for the V Brownback for the opportunity. Thank you, guys.